Jesus gives a great piece of information, revelation about our life in the book of Luke chapter 16 verse 15. The Bible says like this, And Jesus said to them, You are those who justify yourselves before men. But God knows your hearts. For what is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of God. What is highly esteemed in the sight of men is an abomination in the sight of God. Shocking, right? Yes, it is. My brother, my sister, my friend, most of the time, we are very much worried and concerned about one thing. What will my neighbor think of me? What will my colleague think of me? What will others think of me? That comes first. More than what is really needed, what really want from the depth of our heart, more than that, we try to live for others. We try to please others. We try to impress others. We try to get others' approval. What will my pastor think of me? What will my fellow believers think of me? What will my family think of me? And so on and so forth. Very often, we keep thinking like that and we have been living for that. The reality is not that good or impressive. God makes it very clear what is highly esteemed in the sight of men is an abomination to God. My brother, my sister, my friend, we try to be fit for the world. We try to impress others. We try to get others' attention by living a fake life most of the time. It is not us. It is not you. It is not me. We try to live like someone else in order to please others, impress others. Here, God is warning us. He says that what is highly esteemed in the sight of men is an abomination to God. We want to be fit before the world. We want to be fit before men. But most of the time, we ignore the truth, the reality, the waiting reality. We have no problem to be fit before God or not. We have no problem with that. Whether we are fit to God or not, we have no issues with that. We have no problem with that. We are so much worried, what will others think of me than what will God think of me or think of you or think of us? What will Jesus think of us? What will the Holy Spirit think of us? If we behave so, if we live so, if we talk so, if we do so, ask yourself, my brother, my sister, my friend, Jesus said, what is highly esteemed among men is an abomination to God in Luke chapter 16, verse 15. And the Bible makes it clear why he said so in the book of 1 John chapter 2, verses 16 through 17. The Bible says like this, for all that is in the world, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes 
am the bread of life is not from the father but is of the world the lust of the flesh lust of the eyes pride of life these three things which is dominating the whole world is not from god the father it is from the world and then the bible continues to say like this and the world passes away the world is passing by it's it is passing that's it it's not going to be there forever he says that and the world passes away and the lust thereof but here is the key but he that does the will of god abides forever my brother my sister my friend god makes it clear the lust of the eyes the lust of the flesh pride of life these are not from god these are from the world and then he says the world passes away and the lust thereof but he that doeth the will of god will abide forever and ever my brother my sister my friend wake up what is ours into the world is an abomination to god wake up wake up stop worrying about what others will think of me and start concerned about what will god think of me am i fit to jesus am i fit to god am i fit to the holy spirit am i fit to the kingdom of god am i fit for heaven in eternity question yourself think like that and do something for that my brother my sister my friend god loves you jesus loves you i love you until we meet again may god continue to be with you as well amen hallelujah